Hello everyone. So this is a small like quick video about uh, communicating to your ABB AC500 PLC and to configure it, uh, to communicate it and to make a small program just for a startup. And uh, uh, so let's start. So let's say you have a new PLC and uh, we are the, you are using Ethernet communication to communicate with the PLC and uh, if you don't know the IP address you have to find the IP address first so first thing let's go to your computer IP and make it automatic close it Let's minimize it and you'll find uh, if you're using automation builder ABP automation builder or you might be using a course software so you anyway you'll find this uh, IP configuration tool and just scan make sure your Ethernet cable is connected to the Ethernet port of the PLC so right now we find our IP is uh, 192.168.73 so if you want to change it you can click on it change uh, whichever address you require and just click send configuration then you can find uh, it will going green if everything is okay you'll when you scan again you'll find your new ip here so let's make a program click here ac500 project and select your PLC. So the PLC that I have is PM573 ETH, this one. So click add. So you'll find uh, a hardware tree, the program, everything here. So for my setup, I have a IO module connected to the PLC. So let's add it. Add object. And I have uh, DC Yeah, DC okay. So I have my IO module ready. Then I have a Profibus uh, master. So I'm having a CM five seventy two DP module. So I'll add that to CM five seventy two DP. You could have another module with your preference. Uh, my setup is this one. So let me add that. Okay. So here you can add all your drives or Profibus slaves or anything you write. Anyway, today I'm just uh, making a basic video only. So let's go to the program. So double click on this. You can change the program name if you wish to. So say a test program. Here is the program. So when by default it gives the program in a, in a ST language. So let's say you you are comfortable with the ladder or function block program FPD. So first you have to rebuild it. Zero errors. Then convert to FPD okay so let's make a small and block and we'll create uh, some local variables let's say this a bool b bool Now we have to download the program to the PLC. For that, you have to make the communication parameters. Click on this. 
and let's fill it all in. Okay, click new. So the communication you are using is uh, okay. You have to set the gateway first. TCP IP. Okay. Click new. Click this. Now you have to set your PLC address. We know our PLC address is 73. And do not forget to change your PCIP. Our PLC address is 192.168.173. So let's give some other IP. Let's say 22. And to make sure, just ping it. Ping. So yeah, we are getting some uh, feedback. So the PLC is communicating. Now let's uh, download the program. Okay, so it will ask for this. Click yes. And you can see the current status of the PLC here. So it, currently it is not in running. So what you have to do? You have to make it run. Click run. Yeah, see? So the PLC is in run mode. So let's test the logic. Force it. Click F7 to force it. Yeah. So the PLC is in run mode. So this is just uh, a basic programming. You can write whatever program you like. So we'll cover up in our next segment. So this is just a startup video for anyone who is, uh, you know, trying to figure out how to communicate, how to write a program. Yeah. So hope it helps. Thank you.